right, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about my choices for BitTorrent clients on Mac OS X. Now currently in my uh, applications folder I have actually two BitTorrent clients on my Mac. One of them happens to be the uh, classic Azurius Java based application. And another, and another one is a newer torrent client out there that's called Transmission. And there are advantages and disadvantages to both torrent clients and neither one exactly fills, the ne fills my needs exactly as I want it to. So that's why I have two of them installed on my system. Um, none of them, for me at least, in OS X is a magic bullet. Now if you're coming over from Windows, a really good uh, torrent client out there is called uTorrent. And uTorrent is awesome because it's a single execu executable file. Um, usually it's about under a megabyte to download. And in use it uses about 8 megs of RAM. And this is the uh, official uTorrent page. And anyone who's done extensive torrenting on Windows pretty much knows about this uh, application. And this is what I have running on my Mac Mini whenever I go into Windows XP on occasion. So uTorrent is the uh, application on Windows. And it does a really good job. I mean, any uh, torrent I throw at it, it pulls it in quickly. Uh, small memory footprint, small CPU usage. Uh, I think you can even run it on like uh, things going back as old as Windows 98 and Windows 95 for that matter. So uTorrent is uh, it's an awesome uh, BitTorrent client. Now for a long time on OS X, pretty much the only uh, the only uh, client that would pull in my torrents reliably at least was Azurius. The problem with Azurius however is that it's written in Java and like a lot of Java applications it tends to run slow. Um, things such as user interface elements, uh, initial startup, uh, trying to verify the actual torrent files after it's done, after you, after it's, you know, doing the MD5 checksums, it tends to run a little bit slower because it has to go through the uh, virtual machine and Java. Java just really, uh, you know, it slows things down. That's my one problem with Azurius is, for the most part, it is written in Java. It is a little bit slower. However. One great thing about Azurius is that it pulls in all the torrents you want and it pulls it in rather quickly. Or any uh, torrents that's not, that doesn't have a centralized tracker available, if they're using uh, distributed hash tables or DHT, which is sometimes they have to resort to, Azurius will grab those and it will pull it in pretty quick. So that's why I still keep Azurius around and recently I've been kind of reverting back to Azurius. Um, mostly because I think that there's a bug in transmission that I'm not really too fond of and if I come over here and I start up a transmission.app it's written in um, I guess uh, C++ or Objective-C so it's more native to uh, the platform on OS X right now I don't have anything going on in it but if I look at my preferences right here one bug that I've been noticing that is rather bothersome for me at, right now at least is um, currently I cap my upload stream at 80 kilobytes per second. So my ISP currently gives us a maximum upload stream of about 115 kilobytes per second. So normally I like to cap it between 80 and 90 kilobytes when I'm doing torrenting. So I can still browse the web in the background and get all my pages and still have uh, responsive uh, web browsing if, is if I caught, cap it off between 80 and 90 kilobytes. Now the thing is is that when I use uh, transmission.app it doesn't exactly follow this this upload cap that I put into the preferences for whatever reason. Normally if I have say maybe three or four torrent files running simultaneously what it'll do is that um, it'll exceed that bandwidth cap and in many meters as you can see up here normally in many meters um, my transmission stream will be maxed out fully and if I go into Firefox and if I'm trying to browse other websites while using transmission it's going to get bogged down and it's gotten to the point where I've kind of 
not been using transmission for the last couple of days already um, and I've gone back to Azurius because the one thing about Azurius is that when you do set the uh, upload cap in Azurius it does a pretty good job of restricting the uh, the traffic and many meters will say that like um, I'll have like a couple kilobytes uh, left over so Azurius will follow what you put into it it'll restrict the upstream and I can browse the web just as quick um, great thing about transmission though is that it's a very small very lightweight app if I do a get info on it after stripping out the, ex the extra languages and stripping the universal binary down as you can see I got it down to about under 3 megabytes which is great um, furthermore it uses a lot less memory I've never really seen transmission use up more than 20 megs of my RAM whereas uh, Azurius for example if you start using plugins if you start doing six torrents at a time um, your memory is just just gonna go ballistic I've seen Azurius use up anywhere from I've seen it get up to about 200 or 250 megs depending on what I'm doing in Azurius at a given moment so there's a lot to be said about both torrent clients. Um, Azurius is pretty reliable, does a good job, but the trade-off is memory and system resources. And it's going to spawn a lot of threads and it can possibly bog down your system. If you're running a PowerPC machine, it's, it's definitely going to slow it down. Because I remember using Azurius on my iBook G4 back, uh, back in a while and uh, it did slow things down and with transmission it, for the most part it does do a good job it serves about ninety percent of what i want it to do all they gotta do is fix that upload bug and i should be good after that so hopefully they'll fix it because the great thing about transmission is that they have a very active developer community it is open source you can uh, get the source code off of uh... i think subversion i think they use subversion as their uh, as their uh, versioning client. So you can get it off of Subversion, download the source code, and you're going to have to use Leopard, uh, compile the next code, and you, you know, you can tweak it. So that's the great thing about Transmission. There are a lot of active develop developers on it, and generally speaking, that they'll, uh, they'll update the client maybe once a week at least. That's what I've seen. So those are my uh, two torrent clients of choice, Transmission and Azurius. Um, yeah. So use what you will. That's OS 10 software for you. You have a choice. You have a variety. All right. That's about it. Peace.